In this lesson, we're going to create a new mailbox, but we're also going to create a new user at the same time. So we have the Exchange Management Console opened. Here we have Recipient Configuration selected. If we click New Mailbox, here the New Mailbox wizard opens. And again, we're going to choose the User Mailbox as our mailbox type. We'll click Next. In this case, we're going to leave the default selected, New User. We'll click Next. And here we have to provide the same information we would provide in Active Directory, but here in the New Mailbox wizard, so that in addition to the mailbox being created, a new user object will be created in the Active Directory as well. So in this case, we'll have the first name be User2, and we'll ignore the last name. We'll leave it as User2, and then the logon name, User2, and we'll put in the password. and confirm that password. Here we can select the checkbox user must change password at next logon and we'll turn that on and we'll click next and then we see we have mailbox settings again we can change the alias right now it's using the username we have mailbox database we'll click browse and we'll leave it in the first storage group we'll say OK then we have Managed Folder Mailbox Policy and Exchange Active Sync Mailbox Policy. We'll leave these deselected at this time because we haven't covered these subjects yet. And we'll click Next. So here we see a little bit more to the configuration summary because we're not just taking an existing user and creating a mailbox for that user. In this case, we're creating both a mailbox and a user. So we have all of that selected here. If we need to make any changes, we can go back. But in this case, we'll click New and we see that's complete so we click finish so here we have our user 2 mailbox if we go back to active directory through the active directory users and computers here we see our user 2 is right there so we hope you found that informative and we'll see you in the next lesson